All right. Hello and welcome to my podcast. Today I'm just going to demonstrate how um, the geometer sketch pad can be used to enhance visualization and geometry. We're just going to cover some basic geometric transformations. This lesson can be either geared up or down depending on the needs of your students, but we're just going to go pretty simple um, just so you can get a rough idea of how it works. And I've got instructions on the top of the screen so you can read what I'm doing as I narrate. All right, first of all, we're going to construct a scaling triangle, and the easiest way to do this is to go up and pick this segment tool right here, and when you click, you get a point, and you can drag, and you'll get another line. And so you can just connect the three dots and form a scaling triangle. And to make this easier to see, we want to select each of the three points, go up to the Construct menu, and construct a triangle interior. And this just fills the triangle in with color so that we can get a better idea of what we're doing. All right, now we want to construct a line segment. We can use the same segment tool. And what we want to do is reflect our triangle across this line. So we're going to select the line and go up to the transform menu and mark it as our mirror. And that lets Sketchpad know that that's the shape we want to reflect our triangle over. So now we can select our triangle, go back to the transform menu, and hit reflect. And as you can see, the triangle was reflected across the line. And anytime we move the original triangle, the reflected triangle moves with it. And this is just a really good way for your students to see exactly what happens when you perform a reflection. All right, let's move on to translations. We want to construct a triangle just like we did before. And the reason we construct a scaling triangle is it just makes it easier um, to see what changed when we transformed it. I'm going to construct the interior just like I did last time. And this time, when we construct a line segment, it's going to be basically the direction we want to translate our triangle. So I want mine to go down and to the right. So we're going to mark it as our mirror like we did last time. What we want to do is select the points actually in the order that we want, in the direction that we want the shape to go, and hit mark vector. And as you can see, the little dotted lines moved across, showing us that's the direction our triangle is going to move. So we can go back to transform and select translate. And it's going to give us all these options. and Basically, we want to choose what's already selected marked, which is the vector that we marked with the transform menu. And as you can see, the triangle moved in the direction of the vector. And anytime we alter the vector, the triangle moves with it. All right. Finally, we want to do a rotation. So again, create our triangle and fill it in. And this time, we want to create a point around which our triangle rotates. So we can select the point tool right here. Just click and make a little point. And after that point is selected, we want to mark it as the center of our rotation under the Transform menu. Gives you a little blink so you know that it selected the point. And now we want to go back to the Transform and select Rotate. It'll bring up a menu. and you can pick how many degrees you want it to move. There's also this option right here, marked angle, but we didn't create any angles, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, and as you can see, there's a faint little image, so you can see what it would look like if it went 90 degrees. If you wanted to change that to, say, 120, there's a new faded triangle down here. So let's go, let's go with 120. And as you can see, our triangle rotated around that point 120 degrees.